With Maven, you can easily create a fat jar. That's a jar which includes all the dependencies to execute your application on another machine, like for instance, a server or someone else's computer. I created a GitHub template project that you can use to start a new project. Let me walk you through the code and how to configure this project. The sources of this uh, template project or this example project are on GitHub. You can find it on my account as JavaFX jar template. It contains all the files and of course a bit of explanation in the readme file. And that's exactly what I want to show you uh, in this video. Let's move to IntelliJ to look into what's included in this project. Of course, here you have again the readme file, which guides you through the installation of the Java runtime if you have not done that yet. Also how to install Maven so that you can build the project and then some extra info about how you can configure this in IntelliJ. Now let's make sure that we have all the dependencies that we need. So open the terminal and we can check Maven version. And then we see that we are on a recent Maven and that we also have the Java runtime 2104 in this case. So it needs to be 21 or newer for this specific project to execute. I have the version installed with Java and VIX included, which makes it very easy to debug and run the code. Let's look into the POM file. I like to have my properties on top and have it a bit structured so that's easy to write. Uh, we need the Java version. We also have some dependencies. Of course, we have the Java FX dependency. I have a logging dependency and I added one uh, extra dependency to show you how to do this and build this uh, fat jar with this uh, library included. There are some uh, plugins to be used for this Maven project. So also the versions are defined here in the properties, making it very easy to update everything here. Then the dependencies are listed here. So we have the logging framework, we have uh, JavaFX, we are only using the controls of JavaFX in this uh, little project. And then the extra dependency that I'm using is from Han Solo, uh, Garrett Grunwald and the TilesFX uh, library that he creates, which is amazing to create dashboard like applications in JavaFX. And for the build, I have two plugins and one extra value that I set here is the final name. That's not really uh, required, but uh, it helps you to have a fixed name for your uh, application. Uh, it doesn't include the version if you do it like this, and that uh, can be a preferred way to build your uh, jar. And then the plugins. There are uh, two, the Maven compiler plugin. So this is the most important one. It compiles your Java code into class files, which are needed by the runtime. And the second uh, plugin is the Maven assembly plugin. Um, and I use it here to create exactly the fat jar with some extra info here. So it's a jar with dependencies that we create. And we also set the class pod to true and the main class. So that's how uh, the jar knows what class needs to be executed when the application starts. So if you rename uh, the classes, the packages uh, in your final application based on this template, you will need to change this uh, main class and then some extra uh, settings here, but everything is prepared for you. Okay, let's go look into the sources. What did I create? It's a very uh, simple application. Um, I use the app launcher approach to launch the application. This is a very easy way to have uh, an easy to start Java FX application. And it starts the my app, which is then the actual Java application that we want to run. So this class extends from application, which is a Java FX application. There is some logging here to show you what's happening. And what we create here is a scene with a new view, which is called my view, which is here. So there's a very basic packaging structure here uh, in this uh, project uh, so that you find it back. And there is a helper function to have a clean exit. So we call it both from where the stage uh, creates the close request. And it's also used in the my view. We'll see that. So this is the main class starting the application and the view that we are showing is actually here. 
and if you look into the view it's extending from the border pane we can add a title at the top we have an exit button that we add to the left of the border pane here you see that we call the clean exit again from the main app class so this one so we only need to write that code once we are lazy developers um, we only write a function once a method if we can do that and then for the center of the border pane i want some tiles uh, you see that below but let's first go to the bottom of the border pane and this shows you which java runtime is being used and which java fx runtime is being used and then so for the center get tiles and here we just have two uh, fixed tiles from the tiles library by Garrett. Uh, this one is a clock and this one is a world map. Uh, we don't do anything fancy here, but of course there are many more tiles in that library. So you can add charts, for instance, or link it to some incoming data. So if we go to my app or the launcher, let's start from here. We can now run this application in our IDE. So you see we have a border pane with at the top the title, on the left the button, the two tiles, and at the bottom the Java and Java FX version. And we can exit and we get into this method here. Bye bye. That's what we see in the logging. So we have everything uh, pre-configured. We can just execute it from here. You can also execute it from my app if you want. All these work in the IDE. Now let's build our jar file. I will remove the target directory so that we see what has been produced. Maven package. You see that the assembly plugin combines all the dependencies. So now we have the target directory being created and we see that we have two uh, jar files. Let's go to the target directory. The normal jar is very small. It only contains our codes, but we have the Java FX app jar with dependencies, which is a lot bigger because it contains everything which is needed to execute the application. So if we uh, execute the jar without the dependencies, it will complain that it doesn't know which uh, class needs to be started. And that's actually uh, one of the things we solved with that plugin here by adding the manifest. So if we go back and do Java min jar and start the one with the dependencies, you see that the application starts perfectly. So now we have a fat jar, which contains everything which is needed to execute this uh, program on any machine.